But let's move on to other matters. Join News is speaking information that government has added Utah to the newly constituted interim governing board of the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, which has been charged to see to the peaceful resolution of the impasse between the university students and the school authorities. Yesterday, government dissolved the governing board and constituted a new one in it's charged the new board among others uh, other things to see to the reopening of the university within 14 days the news did not excite the university teachers association of ghana particularly with the exclusion of the vc the vice chancellor who the students have accused of uh, uh, supervising brutalities against them president of the association told joy news the association is appalled by the latest government decision expressing disgust at the inclusion of the Student Representative Council on the new board instead. Uh, I'm going to run you through the members of this interim board as we have it. But before that, here's a profile of the old one. What has happened in Kenya University is unfortunate. And the decision by government to set aside the governing council to establish an interim. And uh, unfortunately, Ghana, when we see a woman being the head of anything, we think that this is wrong. Where is this woman coming from? Because we haven't accepted that women are even the best managers in our world. Asians, like women in... Members of the old council, on your screen there is Kevin Sa. He's the representative of the SRC. Abdul Dakara is representative of CHAS on the old council, the council that was dissolved yesterday. Charles Arthur, representative from Tewa. Well, we'll bring you uh, uh, more on the membership, uh, the formation of the old council and the new one as well. But right now, we want to uh, bring you the views of the president of the University Teachers Association of Ghana. Uh, and he was talking about uh, the, the exclusion of the new board in this new interim board constituted. What has happened in Kenya University is unfortunate. And... The decision by government to set aside the governing council to establish an interim management committee doesn't sit well with UTAC. Why am I saying this? We say that comments that certain individuals associated with government making all lead to the fact that the vice chancellor There's a plan to remove him ultimately. Be it as it may, I thought that upon the visit of the Minister of Education, you know, there was going to be a support of the current legitimate council 
to reflect over the issue and that government will use its clout. Since government has appointed four members of that council, one of which is the chairman, that look, this is what has happened. Policy and implementation has gone wrong. Could you reflect over this and decide whichever way without us necessarily interfering? No, government decides not to do that. But to set the whole council aside, meanwhile, apart from the government reps, members of this council are automatic members of the council because of the position they hold. The vice chancellor is on the council because he's the vice chancellor of the university. Utah president is on the council because he is the Utah president. SRC president is on the council because he's on the, on the, on, on the, on the, he's the SRC president. Now you set this aside and set up a committee. Not going back into the issue. We know very well that the substantive issue, the crisis that KNUSC is in, there are mainly two parties accusing each other. Management accusing students of misconduct, harassing female students, doing all kinds of things, and therefore security men be tight and, you know, do the, the, the need for. It went wrong. Some of them went overboard. That is unfortunate. SRC response by the SRC president leading students to go on a mass illegitimate demonstration to cause mayhem on campus, destruction of valuable property. Why do you describe the demonstration as illegitimate? Aren't they protesting uh, the oppression they say they are suffering? There are procedures to, um, you know, through which student leaders can embark on a demonstration. I don't think that they use those procedures. But to go further, so these are the two parties. Now, government decides to, and these students are therefore complicit by virtue of what happened that we are all witnessing, and that has led to the closure of the university. Government set up an interim committee and says that the SRC president, who led this illegitimate uh, student demonstration to cause me him, should be on the committee. The vice chancellor, on the other hand, who is also being accused of the student, should step aside and not be on the committee. You talk which is a union that represents teachers in the university lectures, not represented on the committee. But they say that the pro-vice chancellor is represented on this committee. The pro-vice chancellor doesn't represent Utah. The pro-vice chancellor doesn't represent, the university has a legitimate Utah representative. So if that's what government wants to do, you don't sit down and select and choose the way you want it. It is not fair and we see what is coming. We see the larger plan that has been hatched. What so, larger plan is that? What I'm telling you is that the plan is that this committee should work. It's like a small screen. At the end of the three months, they come out with findings, and the vice chancellor will find his way out of the university. UTAC is not going to sit down for this to happen. Look, if you take a university, there are three major uh, stakeholders, students, faculty, administrators. You don't provide a platform for students purportedly to provide information as a way of investigating their vice chancellor. In secondary schools in the country, in Ghana, in the history of our secondary schools, students go on demonstration, destroy secondary school property. They say they will not eat dining hall food and all of that. Well, we're crossing over to Parliament now because the Appointments Committee has started uh, its vetting. The process is just about beginning. Um, we will take you there as and when we're ready to do so, but we're going to run you through the composition uh, of the interim council uh, or interim board uh, set up to run the KNUST. It's chaired by the Paramount Chief of Bompata Traditional Area, Nana Efa Apinting. Uh, the members of the council are Nana Efa Apinting, Professor Mrs. Rita Kusuya Dixing, Dr. Edward Bafo Boni, Madam Hilda Hager Ampedu, also Professor Joshua Ayakwa, Mrs. Abina Enchi, Kevin Sa. Uh, the new interim board has been given three months uh, to do its work. The mandates of the interim council include to assume the powers of the governing council to establish the courses of the recent student riots on campus, also to establish the full extent and cost of damage caused and to resolve the differences between university management and the student body, amongst others.